Yeah, new morning. Let's see what's up here. Home dome. Mortgage got you down. New app allows you to rent out the bathroom as a public toilet. Okay. Hey, got a call from Mrs. Miranda. Apparently she's upset that we messed up her basement. Whatever, she didn't pay us to clean it up. I was work all day. Just saying, if you want to say hello, I am here to be hello that. Hey, bro. At work all day. Very bored. Work sucks. Crap Falcon, more like it. Uh... Who's that guy? Is that the bird guy? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's go downstairs. Wonder if the dad has moved that stuff yet. He has to have gone. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, dad. No, he didn't do it. Please, we asked him twice now. That's just shitty of him. Oh, come on, birdie. I wonder if we can learn to talk to birds. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can. Some people just probably figured it out. Oh, Morning, long night? Yeah. I went to work with B. Oh, were you gonna work there? No, mom, I was just tagging along. Thought I was like, uh, really useful. Mm-hmm. It was a new and exciting feeling. Mm-hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just like budget, bills, numbers. A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Mm-hmm. Have a nice day. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Goodbye, Mom. I wonder what's in the book. <laughs> Working. Grr, grr, angry furnace. Who makes a mummy? <laughs> Miracle rats, yeah. My lord forever. Pass K? Yeah. Let's see what we can do outdoors. Yeah, still work on the road. What's this? When the flood happened that one year, this pole fell over. And I was scared it somehow electrified water all over the neighborhood. And it stayed that way. And I was kind of afraid of taking a shower or turning on the faucet for weeks. After the flood, it laid in our yard for two weeks, like a big dead thing. But then it put it back up. And I could see it from my window at night, and it felt spooky for some reason. Spooky pole, undead friend. Watching me from the curb. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Totally what's up, Selmers? <laughs> you know what's good. Off the top of my head, uh. Not bleeding on your seat in junior high? And not falling on trash can puking on yourself? Not seriously or something during your first kiss at seen from? Yeah, I'm gonna make the period joke, apparently. Um, I was gonna say those fruit snack things we used to eat in grade school. <laughs> Alright, yeah, those are really good. Did that other thing happen to you? Uh, no. <laughs> Want to hear a new poem? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the train tracks. Decent. I juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. Jeez, those are like all I want now. You made it sound so real. I can taste that hum dino snack and the blue clear squeezer. Yeah, thanks. I think Mr. Shatskov's up there again. Oh, really? He's gonna fall right up on this stoop one day. I can see the water tower from the back window. I seen a fire up there the other night. Wonder who was up there. Oh, can we go to the water tower? Oh, we talked about that last day. You're gonna make my dog anxious. And she poops a lot when she's anxious. <laughs> oh. That boy. 
has to go around. I'm not sure if I have to walk all this way to get up there, but it feels like I have to. Oh, no! No! Please! One, two, oh yeah. Come on. One, two, three. Can't I just, oh, no. Can I at least go up here? I should be able to from here, right? Yeah, okay. Nope, apparently not. Uh, okay, I need to get up to the roof. Forgot which road I took last time. Yeah, this is it. Then big fall, and then Shen lets you. Like this. Maybroski. Yep. Up here on my roof. Yep. Come to hunt some Dusk Stars? Definitely. Come, have a look. Ah, my eyes! Filter. Oh. Uh, let's see what we can find. This is the old guns. Uh, Let's see if we can get some senses tingling. Oh. This one? Boom! Found one. Let's see. Ah yes, Simone the fighter. She got a gun. Simone lived in a good land, but under every good land are the roots of oppression. And in this land those roots took old and choked out all else. That was poetic, Mr. Shaskov. Thanks, I was just reading the summary of my phone. <laughs> oh, we may not have a signal, but we have Wi-Fi. Anyway, when the border closed and the curfew began, Simona and her comrades began to plot. They infiltrated the sabotage, they freed prisoners. Very nice. Simona was one of the first to be identified. But she evaded capture even as the wanted posters went up, as whispers of her grew throughout the land. More and more of her neighbors prayed in the night that Simona would be their salvation. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure for one person. She was not alone, of course. She was but one part of a growing organism, but she became a symbol. It's difficult to think of many things, so sometimes having a symbol for all of them is important. <laughs> like numbers, we do not know where Simona is buried. Ah, God damn it! I knew this wasn't going to be happy. We do know that when things boiled over, she led a charge against the palace gates, and behind those gates were cannons. Oh no! Many years later, when the mass graves were exhumed, her bones were mixed with so many others, it was said that she now lives on in the bones of all in her country. She's that got dark and sad and spooky. <laughs> that is history. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Spider senses tingling. This one. Found one, found one, found one. <laughs> Let's have a look. Sterling the Seer. How come I've never heard of these guys? Uh, by the time they got. <sighs> oh, sorry. <laughs> by the time they got to these rare stars, they well know myths and legends were taken. Oh. This one, Sterling, is the tale of the world changing and leaving one behind. Was he not psychic? Who can say? We do we believe any tale occurred? Um, either way, one day his king met a new sage, an astronomer, and she showed the king how the planets and stars orbit in regular patterns. And the king kicked Sterling out of his quarters, for the seer had long told the king a different story about the stars. Did Sterling believe his own story? I believe he did. Well, that's how things go. Is there no responsibility to care for those labors, even once the universe are suddenly replaced with a new one? Are they obsolete? No. What is to be done? I don't know. Uh, isn't there some other job the king could give him? Or some way uh, where he doesn't have to be useful to the king in order to survive? It's one to ponder. <laughs> the stars, they make one think. That's both of them for today. Nido. It's not to wait two days more to actually get next to right. That's how it works. Wow, that was pretty great. Come by again. Couple days. We shall hunt the stars. <laughs> yeah, let's see what we got. 
Sterling and Simone. It seems weird, like, because now to like progress the story, I either have to talk to B or talk to Greg. And it feels weird, like, picking one of them. But I guess I have to, and I already picked B, I think. I like her better than Greg. Let's see if mom's at work. Hello. Hey mom. Can't talk today, lots to do. Really? What could possibly go be going on? Well sweetie, we have a town council here today, and after that 12 step program meeting in the basement. Oh wow. And I'm doing both church budget and our budget at the same time. I'll leave you alone then. Thanks, son. Honey, I really do need to concentrate. Oh, she's so busy. Yeah, the town council. He's very nice. Yeah, and he can be like uh, the first dry run. Where would you put him? Oh, in the basement. Or in the old library. With all the books? He's not going to eat them. Interesting proposal, Karen. Yes, thank you for bringing this to us. I look forward to us being forward together on this. It will be brought up to council meetings. Oh, that's wonderful. Alright, troops, move out. So we're gonna put the homeless guy in the basement? How's things? Okay, weird dreams. Wanna talk about it? Not really. I dreamed I was trapped in a wall. Jeez. No, it was fine. I knew the rescue crew was coming in a few hours, and it was cozy. So I could take a nap guilt-free. You feel guilty about naps? Wish I didn't. I can't stand on the podium. Like, stand sound on the podium thing. Yeah, let's go see... Um, oh, I already forgot the name. George? The homeless guy. I probably got way wrong. Let's go see him. Apparently it's getting a new home in the church basement. Hello. Where are you? Show yourself. He's not here. Yeah, there is. Seen a fire through the trees last night. Past these woods here. Rare noises. I just kept to myself and they went away. Yeah, where? Right over there. Past the water tower. Okay. Yeah, that's a place. This place where teens hang out. Let's hope that's all it was. In my experience, strange finding strange voices ain't never been good. I wonder if they'll be back. Hope not. Yeah. What's the, what was it called? Selbers. Oh, sorry for yawning. It's getting late. Yeah, Selmers uh, also said it was fire behind the, the water tower. Yeah, okay. I checked up the church today. Let's see if there's anyone in town who wants to talk to me. I'll go talk to B. Or maybe I should go talk to Greg first. In case B has something planned. Wait. I have no food, so it's I don't have to go to the rats. Oh, I fell down? But I want to go to the horror movie guy on the rooftops. Oh. Oh. Is he even up there? Yeah, he is. Let's go visit him. Oh, 
Oh, I jumped past it. I thought I was gonna time it right and land on it. Uh, oh. Like that. Hey kid, what's up to? Hey adult, uh, nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to tracks. Do you wanna come? Sorry if that sounds boring. You don't have to go. It's okay. <laughs> Jeez, let me ask before you decide to say no. Okay, did you wanna go? Uh, Actually, I can't. Oh, okay. It's fine, it's fine. That'd be really boring anyway. Oh man, didn't mean to make sad. Hey, I spissed today, that's all. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. See you later. See ya. Oh, he's really sad. But I want to say hi to Greg and B first. Let's see, Angus is out, right? But that girl should be here. No, Angus is back! Hey, mate. Hey, Angus, how's Video Land? Good, good. Start with the Halloween rush, got a pretty good horror section. Nice. You got a favorite? What? Horror movie? Yeah. Uh, Scythe Sabbath. Oh, Italian. Yeah, they don't mess around. Pretty colors. Pretty everything. Well, see you later. Bye. Let's see if I can talk to Gregory. Oh, the sports guy. Son again, thank God it's... What's got you down? Ah, uh, it's nothing. Hey, uh, ghost mothers, right? <laughs> yeah, ghost mothers. <laughs> yeah, no worries if you got the sports. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Whoa, what's up with you? I want to do something. Okay, wow. You have near-death experience or something? This job's long enough, ne long le near-death experience. So, do-do-do, day, you want to do something, something, something? <laughs> ah, I can't today, dude. Oh man, it's cool. Yeah, I want to go see B first. If she wants to do something, she has my priority. It's worth checking if the... Around the diner or something? Oh, yeah. So, how did that arm get here? Someone just ran down the street. Whoops, my arm fell off. I just come back for that later. No one could survive their arm falling off like that or being shot off. Like, not by a doctor. Is it still called assault if you shot an arm off? It seems like it should be a different word. Arm choppy. You're under arrest for arm choppy. Whoever's arm that was is probably dead. Ah, uh, definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who until recently had an arm. Yeah. If I see a guy with without an arm, I should probably be worried. At least ask him what he did. What happened to your arm? Let's see if anyone's down there by the tracks. All the kids are here, right? Hmm, what happened? Holy shit! The dudes, someone hacked up the dudes! Who... Who did this? Why did they do it? Yeah, it's just nuke Possum Springs now. Is someone planning on... Because it was saying that on... Like, on one of the rooftops. That rat boy. Yeah, they paint all over this. The rat guy? Amazing, I think... Amazed to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here too. No way to get them off here, out of here I guess. This place sure was some something a long time ago. Bet some rat babies would love at least pretzel. <gasps> I can steal it now! Okay, okay May, you're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze when it looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel. No movement. It's simple psychology. You've done this before. You've still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go.
Careful now. 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 I am the Bandit Queen. Now we can go back to rats. Yeah. Or the fishing guy. Wife long gone. Kids don't care. Tell the fish are always there. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh god, please don't listen. I can't believe they kept this open. Historical note, I guess. I think it's just because the old people like Pirogue is dead. Never underestimate the ability of old people to get state funding. Yeah, let's uh, head up to the rats before talking to B. Is there anything new in here? I haven't checked these in, in a while. Uh, no, nothing new. Still the missing note about Casey Hartley. We need to find that guy. But that, like, nuke Possum Springs, that's getting serious now. I think it's this building who also says it. Like, if you go up. Let's see here. Up here. It says nuke Possum Springs. 87. I'm not betting on the, like, the homeless guy, because I see that he was back here in the 70s. And been gone since then. But seriously. And it seems like if it says it was timestamped with 87, then it seems that Wrath Kid is too young. I don't know. Might be the kids, might be someone else. Might even be Town Council. I have no idea. All right, my little miracle rats, time to eat! Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, you're hungry. Very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now. I don't know if I'm ready to be a mom. Okay, at least I survived for now. Let's check back on them tomorrow. And I'm gonna talk to B, and if B has nothing planned, I'll probably talk to Greg. I have. No, I don't have a third option. I said no to the uh, rat guy on the roof. I don't think I can hang out with him today. I already said no to him. Let's see what B has planned. <gasps> yeah, hi. Hey, dude. Hello. How's working here going? Uh, I don't know. It pays. I like, refuse to unload all the rock salt by myself. It's not even Halloween yet. Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. Thus far, at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting a stupid Harfest play tomorrow. Oh, wow! Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Um, nothing. I'm like super tired. For some reason, you own this place now. Ah, you think? Well, also, no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a custom tools from this store. And burn me anywhere else. <laughs> Jeez, that got intense. Ah. Oh. Anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So are we doing this? Uh, yeah, let's hang out. Hi, B. Hi, May. Hi, Germ. Hey, dude. Jim has helped me move stuff for under the table cash. <laughs> well, I'm knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. Yeah. Ready to go? You got a lot of hammers. Holy oh, shit, there's so many kinds of nails. <laughs> Alright then. He's like something out of a children's book. About whatever the hell he is. <laughs> Dinner at bees.
This place killed the food donkey. Yeah, kind of. Food. You know, no one who works here anything to do with that. True. Okay. I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were gonna hang out. Uh, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing the big shop tonight. <laughs> Let me pick up what we have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't, but now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. <laughs> oh, I just invite myself, that's awkward. Why did I hang up there? Wait, you're serious? Yeah. You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. Need like a main course and two sides. What counts as a main course? We can stop back in the meat section while we pick up whatever else. What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. You hang out and I'll be right back. Yes, make quick and not too horrible. Also, that's sensitive to broccoli. And oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Oh. I can afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Good point. We need a canned good or something. Yeah, okay. I can't go left, I'll go right. Um, green beans? No. Cream of chicken soup? No. Sukotash? Sukotath? No. Let's take the green beans. Yes. Delish. What's this? Uh, mac and cheese? No. Taste taters? Mash mashed potatoes? Let's see. Rice. With the beans, I go mashed potatoes. Yeah. Mm, very delicious. Uh, biscuits? No. Creamed spinach? Yeah. Uh, should I get bacon shakies? That goes well with meat. Yes. Okay, let's go back to B. Shore or hall? My dad works at the deli. We we could go there for meats. Okay. Where's my dad? Oh, there he is. Ahoy oh, there, ladies. <laughs> hey, dad. <laughs> hey, B. Long time no see. How are you, Mr. Browski? Can't complain. Just me and the meats. <laughs> Meat friends. Helps to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best dishes. True. Still we're seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when I came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. <laughs> Looks like he, it's his job to say hello to people. Yep, called a greeter. We knew I recognized him from somewhere. <laughs> alternatives? Not working. Oh. Yeah, so what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just scram something for dinner. How's your dad? Alright. What can I get for you ladies? Um, chicken. Okay, let's see. We have mashed potatoes and peas and some spinach. We could do... Uh, I'd say fish. Whatever's good. Dinner for three. Not too pricey. Can do. Hmm. Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? Uh, yes. B, you should come by for dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, May. I'll grill us up something nice. We can shop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah! Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up. <laughs> Alright, dinner decided. I won't even look at what you got. That is how straight up tired I am. It's gonna be great. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright ladies, see what you all got. Mm hmm, yes, okay. Well, that's uh, interesting. Interesting. Maybe I'm just behind the times. Good luck. Alright, thanks, thanks, Mr. Borowski. So your dad has said hello. See you later, dad. Night, ladies. Okay, yeah. I probably messed up. That was fun. Yep, groceries. Really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun. Ooh.
Dinner time. Did you already cook it? Um, yeah, what? Do you want me to order a pizza? Nah, I got sandwich stuff. <laughs> Alright. Oh, did I ruin dinner? Yep, but we'll leave, I think. <laughs> I don't think the fish worked out. I thought, hey, fish is okay. Baker shake is good. I may just bake bad for everything. No, just fixing things and planning meats. Those are big life skills. Did you like it? No, I agree. It's very terrible. I don't even know what a bakey shaky is. Why did I pick it? So yeah, we're all paid up till Feb 15th next month. No right? That rock salt's ordered? Yeah, it should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Okay, uh, I need to sign some things left on the bar. I think I might just get to them. Please do. We have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. I know, but I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the check? Yours. Dinner ain't gonna set well. Smelter's playing tonight? We're gonna go hang out in my room? Yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, mate. Yep. You did not need to thank me. What if I wanna watch the Smelter's game? Smelter's, huh? You a fan? I like hockey. Hockey? Psh! What's not like about hockey? Bunch of men prancing around on ice skates. And beating the living crap out of each other? Eh, can't get that bug puck. But it's like expected that someone's gonna be bleeding by the end. No sportsmanship in it. How is what I described not sportsmanship? Ugh. Yeah, I prefer football over. over hockey. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago? <laughs> Why aren't you unpacked? A pretty cool record player, as far as record players go. It was my mom's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. <laughs> my mom was into them. <laughs> they were retro when she was my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. So I got a question. Mm-hmm. Your dad's kinda up and down, huh? He has good days and bad days. Often in the same day. <laughs> Greg's always been like that too. Just more, uh, sane about it. Well, Greg is probably bipolar. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Dr. B. Whereas my dad is having a years-long breakdown. You're on the whole store now, right? More or less. Yeah, but it's still his name on anything. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and they're working there every day too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I just think you're like selling yourself out. I'm sorry, what? Like, you're not doing anything about it just to reinforce this. Is there really a road you want to go down with this? Oh, like all of the alternatives are really bad. I can't tell her to quit because like it's her dad's business and she really wants... I say it's not right that you just had to roll over and take it. Take it? Take it? You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. Why? Oh. What's your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek? Repair guy Creek at the shop? Yeah? Yeah, you met him when we were kids. When I was 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. I don't follow. He's a creep, May. And you know what? He still works for us. Why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy, practically heads up to the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything, and Creek's got a family, and he needs work. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, me too. I'm really familiar with that feeling. I was saying, if you keep letting these dudes off the hook, off the hook, like, you're stronger than this bee. You're like, badass and shit. You... Badass. My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I... You're such a shithead, you know that? Oh, What? 
a lot of time folks can't just choose to do whatever it is you do, your decree to be the right thing. A lot of times people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. You can always choose. Choose what? Honestly, tell me. Where's my choice here? Tell your dad you're not gonna take this. Tell him what? Where's your magic solution? That I need to do? I'm seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up? You want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just ditch your dad, who is both getting old and can barely get off the couch half time. So you want to come in here and say, oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more stressful. That's not what I'm saying. Well, what are you saying then? I don't know anymore. Like, Greg is probably off doing god knows what back is shit right now. I'm here making dinner and doing payroll. You know, like, nothing about my life. You just know that what I should do, and you're the last person I'd ask for advice. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're sorry. Everyone's sorry. But you don't get it. I thought we were having fun. We went to the mall. We got stuck in a basement. Yeah, and that was all you, well, all you did those days. I'd worked a good six hours before you even woke up properly, and came home each night after you and I were done. And pay bills, we figure out how to be making next payroll. While Dad slept on the couch. This isn't fun. I should go. You should go. Horrible fish. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. That was bad. I, I, the worst thing is, I don't think I could have done it better. Like, there were no good options. Okay, I'm home. Oof. What's up? Long day. Yeah, same here. How socializing? Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long. And you're not usually lurking up at the hand panther. <laughs> Who's to say I'm not? Well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Lurk, lurk. An idea what's up with mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. <laughs> well, I hate to be the one break to you, but you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Oh dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have that too. Oh. Shut up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Pop. So how about those crawls Facebook says? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time. Um yeah, for a little bit. And we're back. Great crowd in here tonight. We didn't leave for a little long, folks. See, Garbo? Yeah, my lord. Kinda of this remind me, remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them are angry and drunk. Ah, oh. Most of them, anyway. <laughs> no, I mean those old nights. Those good nights. Just the heat of the stage lights and the thrill of winging it. And the gentle thump of the empty beer bottle thrown at your head. Ha 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 ha. These things are pretty cushy. You think we're getting soft? You sure are. It's around the midsection. That's a whoopa. Yeah, this uh, this show sucks. <laughs> Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? And what you call body shameless? <laughs> Very political. Come up next, Garbo and I go go to counselling. Yeah, they probably should. So he's gonna move the boxes, so that they're gonna be gone today, tomorrow. That's great. Cause they're not gone now, I think. No. They'll be gone the next day. And mom's probably sleeping. Yes. Uh. Yeah, I'll go to bed, I guess. Bedtime. Yeah. It didn't seem good, like getting in a fight with B, but uh, it's probably gonna work out. I hope so. Oh, can you dream sequence? Uh, trains this time.
Is this whole thing a train? Like a train with trees on it? It's weird. I fell off. Maybe we should cover like the ground level before going up. And nothing more here. That's surprising. I thought one of the insurance guys were gonna be like to the far right. I can't go. Let's up here. Come on. Ooh. Yes, like that. Fossil Springs, Deep Hollow County. I can't go further, I think. Or oh, I should go further, probably. If I make the triple jump, do you think I can make it that far? Okay, one, two, three. Oh, I really can't. Oh, but I hit a rooftop. I was not supposed to fall. Oh. So I guys should be to the right here. Am I supposed to make jump? Oh, I missed the roofs! I jumped too far! Now we have to go to the third drop right. Up here, yeah. Two, three, two, three. Who's that smoking? I have no idea. soundtrack is amazing so what's happening this time <gasps> crocodile oh no 